Hi, it's Jen from Shabby Fabrics. I recently filmed a video on how to take a charm pack and make these super cute four patch coasters. I love this. We did that in the Time for Hot Cocoa collection and those sold out so fast. We've made them again in the Holiday Essentials Love Collection by Stacey Ishu. So if you love that four patch look, you know how fun to do whatever collection you want to do that in so many charm packs hey go to the new website we're so excited about that it's easier to find what you're looking for just go to fabrics uh, you can look at pre-cuts and you'll be able to look at all of the charm packs we have and of course if we don't have your favorite collection just cut your own five inch squares but that was a very popular video and well you know shabby we always have like a 2.0 of everything at least and we thought it'd be fun to choose another Stacy Ichu collection, another Holiday Essentials for Halloween. And now this time it's more of that kind of hourglass shape. And how fun is this? So that's what tutorial at uh, today's tutorial is. Again, we did not come up with this. We've just been seeing it all over the place. And so we thought that would share that with you. So if you're looking for a fun DIY project, that you can do in just a couple hours. This is it, and also obviously great for gift giving. So you'll grab the Holiday Essential Charm Packs. Um, as I said before, the other one sold out within a couple of hours. We brought as many in as we could, so hopefully uh, you'll grab that uh, Charm Pack before they're gone. Just like the other one, you're going to need six five inch squares. You can either just choose all six right out of your Holiday Essentials Halloween or whatever charm pack you might be using to make this particular style of your coaster. You can either choose six out of that pack or choose five because the one that's on the very middle, you're never going to see that. If you want to be able to have eight, these charm packs have 42 and them. Most charm packs have 42. I want to call out the Kimberbell Basics. This thing is huge. I mean, I don't even know how many in there. It's at least 100. If you want to make a lot colorful and fun, maybe for a birthday celebration, this would be a great one to grab. But most Charm Squares 5-inch packs have about 42. If you want to be able to make eight, you need to use only five. And then what's in the middle there? Maybe you're using a coordinated fabric, maybe a solid and cream or black or whatever would coordinate with what you're doing. However you want to do that, grab six five inch squares plus one five inch square of batting. How we're going to fold these differently for this tutorial is you'll simply grab your fabric, whatever four you want to be up on top here, and you'll take your fabric and unlike the four patch where we folded them this way here we fold them diagonally and give them a good press if you want to have everything have a lot of body you could certainly add sizing to that we did not do that so that's up to you and you'll just do the same step here with all four of whichever ones you want on top and i've done that in advance so let me just put these aside so i have those prepared and today I'm just going to use a charm square for kind of that area that we don't see that I talked about as the option for you using maybe a solid fabric um, to kind of extend your charm pack to make eight of your coasters instead of seven. I'll just use that one. What, whatever that fabric is that you know it's going to be in the middle and not seen will go down first and that'll be wrong side up. In fact, let me just move that out of the way so you're able to see this a little bit better. Put that right in the middle. If you decide to use batting, that's going to go on next. If these are just for decoration and you don't think you're going to actually use these to put drinks on, you don't really need to put the batting in there. It'll obviously have a lower profile and it won't have kind of the same loft, but easier to turn. So that's, that's the benefit. But for me, I, I'm going to use these. And I know those cold drinks with the ice in them, they just kind of sweat, I guess they people call that. And I don't want to have that ring on my table. I intend to use these. And hey, if they get worn out, we get to make them again. But these are something you can, again, just throw in the washing machine, dry them and use them again. You might have to press them so they're not wrinkled. But hey, 
that's no big deal. This is our back. This is the back of our coasters that are really now reversible. We could have this side up or kind of the hourglass. That's going to go on next. We have our triangles. The raw edges will go to the outside with the turn to the middle. And we'll just lay those straight down. If you're having opposite colors, of course, you'll be mindful of your placement to make sure they're opposite. And on this last layer, you just want to lift up the flap, whoop, place that down, raw edges, of course, on the outside, and lay that flap down. It'll have a very snug, kind of almost lock in the middle. You want that, because that way you really don't want to be seeing down through the middle. So have that good and snug. And now we'll just pin that or clip that as you prefer. And we'll head over to the sewing machine. I'm sewing with a um, Aurafil today. This is one of the um, threads that's in the Carrera Neutral Pack. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Because we're going to be turning these through and using them again and again, go ahead and either shorten your stitch length or plan on going around twice with a quarter inch seam allowance. So I'll clip this and then I'll see you at the sewing machine and we're gonna sew all the way around. You don't need to leave a spot opening for turning because the turn will come through the center. Really clever. By the way, we did not come up with this. I don't ever wanna claim that. This is something we've been seeing on the internet and we thought it would be fun to share that with you. So I'll keep clipping. I'll see you over at the sewing machine. These are adorable. This is already cute. <laughs> um, I think clipping the corners makes sense. There's a lot of bulk going on. So just give those a little bit of a cut there. And anytime I'm trying to press out these corners, that clover point turner that's on the, if you've watched our videos, you know that's on the set, I would say more times than not because I'm either trying to get a 90 degree corner or there's a curve. And I love that this tool really serves both. So we will just turn this through initially by hand. And then when we can't really get those corners out, I really grab for that point turner to do the rest of the work for me. What a fun way to use charm packs. You know, I've always thought charm packs are either a table runner, a quilt. I love using things in more quick DIY projects that aren't some big elaborate quilt. I love elaborate quilts, but I don't want everything I'm doing to be an elaborate quilt. You know, I want to have fun little projects. And with more and more people in this housing market, it seems like so many people are moving. So many people are buying or upgrading a remodeling um, and how nice to be able to give a handmade uh, and practical gift of something they will use in their home. So you can see me working with my point turner to try to get those corners as 90 degree as I can. Once you feel you're kind of at that point, just kind of want to bring everything together and get it a good, give it a good press. If you have different options of batting, I would say using a lower loft batting, 100% cotton batting is maybe your best choice. I know there's some battings out there that are super fluffy, probably a little bit too bulky for what we're trying to do here, especially if you're going to truly use that. We don't want any drinks to spill. Hey, someone else also mentioned, you know, I'm always thinking of putting something on here. But if you were at a party, you could slip a wine glass in the base of this. Now, granted, when you drank it, it'd still be attached to it, but that might be an, a really pretty way to actually present the glasses before they're even poured with any kind of wine or whatever drink you're doing. So something as maybe another idea of what to do with these cute coasters. So I know that, you know, I love learning new projects to do 
with charm packs, like, like I said, that are traditionally used in quilts and uh, table runners. So be sure to subscribe. Let a friend know too that might enjoy making these fun uh, coasters using charm packs. And if you haven't already subscribed to our email list, go to the homepage right now. Just do it. So much coming your way. You don't want to miss out on all the fun happening here at Shabby Fabrics. Thanks for giving me part of your day and I'll see you soon on another video.